Kata here, and we're back again with the Choco Bros. As you can see, the first wave is the Cray Claws, and they're not too bad. They de pretty much debuff you, but aside from that, they're pretty much nothing. So basically, we're gonna have to rush this, like, really, really fast. Because otherwise, we won't make the turn count. So, yeah. So, I plan to only use one star shell here. That way, I have four for the last wave. So, we're just gunning and warping, gunning and warping. Back to back, back to back. We're gonna have a bit of fun here. Also, I really, really hope you guys had some good luck with Kais, cause I didn't. I mean, I wasn't pulling for Kais in the first place, but I am disappointed I didn't get him, kind of. I got Zidane, who I really wanted badly, but... Now here, I'm like... I want to get some brave now because I really, really want to get a good launch right here. But unfortunately, it goes away after two. I don't know why that is. It's probably the um, chase mechanic. I don't understand it. But we're still gonna go for it. I get that extra gun from Pomp though. Zip, 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 bam. And shoot! And that's how you do it. Guess I'll pierce it here, that way Ignis can go and save us. And now, let's go right back into the plus version of Shooting Star. I want to go for Unwell so bad, but I don't think it's worth it. So, we're gonna AP plus here. I really, really want to save my skills for the next wave, so maybe I'll HP plus. And as you can see, they inflict HP down when they attack you, so you gotta be really, really careful. So I'm just gonna go for the overwhelm right now. I'm trying to raise some brave. That's one thing that I wish Ignis could do a lot better is to raise the brave more overwhelmed. You get like 10k when you should be getting like 20k at least in my opinion. Anyways, we got this good launch going. We got Pop on the chain and everything is good to go. Oh, I'm so tempted to star shell right here to get another good chain, but I just crack shot. Gotta have as many star shells as possible for the next wave. I'm going to pierce for the kill you. That's what I'm going to do. 
Oof, that sucks. That really sucks, Prompto. Ah, I wish you had your character board already. You need a little bit of extra damage. Anyways, if you guys didn't notice, I had to reset because I messed up the beginning and got wiped out. But, no matter. Anyways, this boss gimmick is that when they're craving energy, their next turn they will use their Sylvan Union. Once they use their Sylvan Union, they group up together. And then, the only way to stop them is to either shift your turn in between them, or you have to hit them with a chase. When you use chase on them, they instantly, instantly break up. You also cannot break them to delay them, so get that out of your head if you thought you can do that. But, you can delay them to make it a little bit easier. Here, with Noctis, it shouldn't be that hard, but the reason why I like earlier died is because they also have high turn rate, so if you can't break them up when they're craving energy, you're gonna have a bad time because they're gonna shift their turns again and they're gonna light powder. Oh yeah, that's right. Once their union D is together, one will light powder, they brave battery the other one up, and one will take the brave battery and instantly wipe you. And not dodge a hit because they can use venomous bang and just oko you. Which is the problem. As you can see, they're craving energy right now, but they're broken up right now, so everything is good. And now it's bad, so I'm gonna have to break them up right now. So we're worth striking B. And now that we're worth striking B, we cannot break A. We have to leave A untouched, basically. But, I'm gonna build up Overwhelm right here. That way we get some extra damage off before the whole thing happens. And, you know, I always like to put Noctis next because he can set up a chase and basically have a good time. But as you can see, we set up the chase, set up the launch. And we get Prompto in the chase for extra damage. And that's basically how you overwhelm with this team. And as you can see, they're broken up. But I don't want to take an AoE Brave Attack, so I'm going to Star Shell. I don't want to break B right now because I want to save that chase for later if I can. I think it's way worth it. Bop, bop, bop. Let's go, Noctis. Let's go. So as you can see, they use Sylvan Union, which means they have a unity. So the only way to stop them is to initiate a chase or to move your turn between them or to try to delay them, to get your turn between them. Or you basically get white. Darn it. I really thought I can get a good chase here, but it's gone now. So I just have to go for it. And it's still not back yet for some odd reason. And now it's back. Great. I mean, I can still do it, so I'll just do it right now. And because the chase happened, they got severed, which means you're pretty much good to go. And now we're safe. And you're gonna see it soon, but it's gonna light powder the brave battery the other one up. Which it does right here. As you can see, it's a lot of brave, which means you just get wiped if it goes next. So we're gonna break you, we're gonna have some fun. I don't know if I should overkill or star shell here. 
Uh, I think I should maybe overkill, but Star Shell might be better to protect Ignis. Hey, you know what? I'll Star Shell here. What the hey? I always know Star Shell. Uh, should I bring Tech Plus or should I just go for it? You know, I'll just go for it. I'll go for it right now. Shooting Star, get another turn. And. Oh, I want to get my plus version back up. So, you know what? I. Uh, I guess I'll warp right here. You see, the trace is on B, but it goes away if I take too many turns, which makes sense, I guess. But the thing is, Ignis can't HP plus right after. He has to take the second turn, which means it's gone. So, whatever, and it's like back again. That really infuriates me so much. So we're gonna do trigger happy to break A and nice. Yeah, I still don't want to do it because I could probably get some chase damage going with overwhelm. Yeah, I'm not gonna crit recipe. I'm just gonna use Overwhelm right here just for extra chase damage. I know I'm not building up the brave, but I think it's worth it. So that's some good damage right there. I'm not gonna lie. And now I can do shooting star to get the plus version back up. I'd rather have Shooting Star ready with the plus version. You know what? Let's regroup. Let's reset our buffs real quick. And now this is HP plus. So now I'm just gonna see if you buy. That way we can go into the summon, no worries. Alright, let's go. Let's do some damage, some big, big damage. So, with Noctis, you really, really want to HP++ during the summon because his turn mechanics does not work. So essentially, you're wasting a plus version if you use it. Let's go prompt on EK Zone! Deru. I wish that last hit was there still. That still bothers me. So, I'm gonna quick recipe right here. That way I don't have to do it outside the summon. And now, Ignis is ready to go. All buffed up. All ready. Also, if you didn't notice, I put Alpha No Spear on Ignis, and it really helps give extra attack and end break, which is always, always nice. I don't want to use my last star shell just yet, especially if Overwhelm should be ready, so yeah. I really, really need to start using my CC5s and start rushing this right now. I mean, forget it. I don't care. I'm not wasting my regroup or quick recipe yet. So I'll just go for HP plus. I'm really so annoyed that wasn't ready. I mean, I don't know, but Ignis' charge just feels so weird. You think he'll be ready, but then it's not ready. 
Anyways, I'll stick to C thirty five here, and then we're just gonna go all in. Let's go, Noctis. Let's go. We gotta rush this really, really, really bad. I think this might be time to use my last star shell. And I can get Noctis in the chase too right here, which is awesome. So, let's put extra damage. And now we can kind of like try to spam to really, really keep going. Like, we're, we have to burn through Noctis' skills right away. If you're wondering why I'm playing so aggressive, it's because I have to. I have no choice. If I want to make the turn count. Now, I could have easily just brought Iron Air support and easily made the turn count, but again, that's not fun. We're going to do it the hard way. Yeah, I'm going to save our Overwhelm. Especially since I move up right here. I'm going to try to make it so it's ready at a perfect time. That way, I get more turns out of it. So, we're gonna use our last C65 right here. That way, we get to burn the rest of our skills. I was thinking about not doing that, but I think it's worth it. Since we only have one warp strike left. Alright, I'll just HP plus. And I'll, I'll save the shooting stars for when I really, really need it to reset the point blank warp. And now is the perfect time to overwhelm here, but I really want to get more brave. So unfortunately, I won't be activating the chase. Still good damage, really good damage, and now I can activate the chase here, and I can get pumped on the chain and have some fun. So, I'll HP plus yet again. And now we got big, big damage. Yeah, I think I might just overkill here, that way I get to save everyone from the AoE Brave attack. And no one will be broken, everything will be good to go. As you can see, everything is good to go, no one got broken, and we're back in action. In time to pierce her here, break you again, and it's a shame that my overwhelm is not almost ready yet, otherwise I would just rush to do it. Only five turns left, guys, so this is it. I forgot to mention this, but as you can see, I use Papa Bird and Baby Bowl a lot. This is to add the overflow. That way, we make the turn count, because without that, we don't get enough damage to meet the turn requirements. Anyways, I'm hoping this kills right here. Ah, so close, so close. And now it's ready to use that unit again. Yeah, I'm not doing that. So I'm just gonna use the group, get some great battery up, and I'll HP plus. Not you, because I can finish it with just prompt though, because my trigger happy is ready. Yeah, Prompto deserves it. Let's go, Prompto. And let's finish this. Get some attack up just to make sure. And now, Ikuzo. Gotcha. Good game. This run wasn't so bad because of Noctis helping. 
What made it hard was the turn count. As you can see, 89 turns, 5 bricks. But we still did it, nevertheless. Final Fantasy 15 Bros coming through. Anyways, here's my artifacts and spheres. I hope you all have a good day. Also, I really hope that everyone got Kais or Zidane or whatever you wanted me to pull for. I I lost all my gems, as you can see. I have six K gems right now. It's so sad. But anyway, see ya.